Alright guys, Brad Langley here again with the Kicking Clinic and today we're moving on down through our five elements of kicking. Alright, moving on to number three, foot to ball contact. Now if you remember last time, this is where we are today, last time uh, we talked about the kicking position and if you remember all the kicking position really is is a balanced, very athletic and balanced position uh, that allows us to maximize uh, our kicking potential, maximize the power that our leg and body can create as we make contact with the ball and then move on uh, throughout the kick. So key there, if y'all remember, I said about 37 times, uh, kicking position is all about balance. It's a good balanced position, okay, that allows us to move forward. All right, so like I said, today it's all about foot to ball contact. So this is kind of where rubber meets the road a little bit, okay, or leather meets leather, if you will. So there's two big things, two big components uh, that we need to address uh, when it comes to foot to ball contact. One of them is a sweet spot. Alright, so number one, sweet spot. Sweet spot, okay. And then number two is a position, a foot and leg position called down and out. I'm going to put it down here, okay. Number two, down, down and out, okay. So number one, let's start at number one because that's a good place to start. The sweet spot, come over here, I don't know if that's better. The sweet spot, there's actually two different sweet spots. There's one sweet spot that's on the ball, and then there's one sweet spot that's on your foot, okay? So, the good thing is, both of them can be found by the rule of thirds, okay? So we'll say A right here, so the ball, ball sweet spot is found, uh, it's the bottom third, okay? The bottom one third, okay, feet. So the ball is the basically found at the bottom one third. It's the bottom one third of the ball. I got a ball. I'm gonna show you here. Just bear with me. And then your foot is actually the top one third. Okay. So the bottom one third, and then the top one third. All right. So I got a ball here. My tape's trying to come off here, but I got a ball. And it's divided roughly into thirds. This is not exact, but you get the idea. It's divided into thirds. There's the bottom third, the middle third, and then the top third. So the sweet spot on the ball, this is the spot that's basically going to give us the optimum amount of height and the optimum amount of distance. Okay, It's going to get you a good pretty ball that gets real high above the line. You don't, you don't have to worry about getting blocked, but yet still gets enough distance um, to where you can, make, you can make pretty much every kick. Okay, so the uh, sweet spot, like I said, is at the bottom one third. If you can read my handwriting, that's terrible handwriting. But if you can read my handwriting, it's the bottom one third. So this is the one third right here. That's another, the middle one third, and that's the top one third. The sweet spot on the football is basically where that bottom one third meets that middle one third. So that bottom third right there. Okay, so kind of just below halfway. If that's halfway, just below halfway. Okay, so boom, kick right there. Nice trajectory, nice height, nice distance. All right. Now, like I said, your foot, and again, this is one of my old cleats, your foot goes by the same rule, the same rule of thirds, okay? So if you were to divide, of course, you take that part out right there because there's your ankle. You can't kick anything with that. All right, so you divide your foot into thirds. That's the bottom third, the middle third, and then the top third, <coughs> the top third. Our rule here is the sweet spot of our foot is at the top one third, okay? So that's basically that line right there, all right? That line right there, top in between the top one third and the middle one third. So you have your football, sweet spot down there, foot, sweet spot kind of up there, and obviously you want those to match, okay? Boom, hit those, they'll match, and uh, you get good trajectory, okay? The second thing that we're talking about here is a foot position called down and out. And it's actually kind of a foot and hip, it's a whole leg position. So it's called down and out, okay? I'm gonna slip this shoe on real quick because it's easier to see it with a cleat on rather than, uh, rather than my tennis shoes. Okay. All right, so let's move you down a little bit. And let's see. Put us down here where the ball is. All right. 
So, our down and out position. So if this is my foot, right? Down would just be pointing straight down, right? But we want more than that. We want it to roll out a little bit. So if you see, I'm down, down, and I'm out, okay? So I'll roll down and out like that. And if you see what it does, it exposes this a big bone right there in your foot. Right at that mark, right there, is actually where it is. That's exactly what down and out kind of looks like, like that. Boom, right there like that. So if you see, if I went down, I'm going to hit the ground every time. My toe goes straight into the ground. But as I roll out, down, as I roll out, I'm able to scoop, take them laces, I'm able to scoop right across the top of the, right across the top of the ground. You see how it exposes that, that spot right there. Now, to able to, in order to do that, I actually kind of have to open my hip up a little bit, my, my right hip here, okay? So, I don't know if you can see my knee. I hope you can. Let me raise it up just a touch to make sure you can see my knee here, okay? So, if you see, I'm down. That's me being down. And then as I roll out, I roll my ankle out a little bit, and then my kneecap actually kind of opens up just a little bit as well, okay? So I'm a little bit open, boom, coming down and out like that. That allows me to strike the ball like I'm supposed to. All right. So let's set up a ball here from a behind view and see if y'all can see what's going on here. Point that down. Okay, so you see, if you notice, I have my ball leaned away from me. All right, so if I were to be kicking... My ball is leaned, I'm a right footed kicker, so my ball is leaned a little bit to the right, away from me toward my holder, okay? The reason uh, for that is, again, just to expose that sweet spot. As my right foot, tie this shoelace real quick. As my right foot is in a position of down and out, right? You see how they kind of go, end up being perpendicular to each other. That's a crisscross, you know, we just talked about parallel last time. Perpendicular. Didn't know you're gonna get geometry lesson. So boom, I'm opened up right there, down and out. Sweet spot of my foot is exposed and matching up perpendicular, uh, basically to the sweet spot of the football. And again, boom, nice foot to ball contact, and that gives us the trajectory that we want. All right. All right, guys. So that is it. Pretty much for this uh, foot to ball contact, it's kind of an easy, kind of a simple thing, real quick. It's got two main components. You got to make sure the sweet spot of your foot matches up with the sweet spot of the ball. Okay, it's kind of like kissing a girl. You ever kiss a girl and miss her and like end up way up here? Doesn't really work. It's kind of awkward, right? So uh, you want the sweet spot to match the sweet spot for a good kiss. Same thing here. The sweet spot of your foot matching the sweet spot of football gets a really sweet kick and a sweet experience. Alright? Down and out. Okay? Down and out. All that down and out is referring is to referring to is basically opening our foot, exposing that big hard bone in our foot at the top of our foot. Alright? What that does is it really exposes that 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 sweet spot of our foot and uh, kind of locks our leg too. I didn't kind of I didn't really talk about that, but uh, one of, one of the things about down and out is the leg lock. Your knee has to be locked out straight, your ankle has to be locked down and out. What I mean is perfectly straight, not no bend in it. If you come in with a bent knee, it's kind of like hitting a baseball with a rubber bat. It just doesn't work. Okay? You have to have a locked knee, nice and solid, big tight quad muscle, a foot down and out, exposing that sweet spot. Sweet spot of the foot hits the sweet spot of the ball, and then you lift through um, into our next thing. Fall through comes right out up next, but we're not going to get into that today. That's next time. All right. So sweet spot of the ball. Find it by dividing into thirds. In between the bottom third and the middle third, that's your sweet spot. Sweet spot of your foot, divide it into thirds again. Between the top third and the bottom and the middle third this time. Alright, so bottom third, top third, down and out. Okay, a little bit opening. Uh, exposed to that big bone of your foot and it makes your foot angle match the ball angle in a kind of a perpendicular way. It's a good, nice, solid, booming hit to it. Okay? Uh, but that's it as far as foot to ball contact. Very, pretty easy one. Alright? Uh, work on that. Make sure the leg has to stay locked. If your knee is bending at all, 
you're not doing the full down and out, okay? That includes knee lock and everything. If that knee bends, it doesn't count, okay? Nice solid leg, nice solid ankle lock and knee lock. All right, join me next time talking about the follow through. Uh, that's always a good one. And uh, as always, if you got questions or comments, I'm always open. See ya.